Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedgen Lee, and I'll share with you as to what a three-wave structure looks like and what it usually means. Since the 14K high, Pliny's has been moving in very three-wave-ish pathway. You can see here in the white, ABC, the blue, ABC, another one, A. B and C, very, very three wavish. Another ABC, it continues. And we are now probably seeing, as shown in the white, yet another ABC three wave structure. Now, look at the subwave composition of the white A, very three wavish. Look at the B, three. And this current C, while all the bulls are coming out, calling for 30Ks, 200Ks, 29Ks, etc., and whatever, and calling the bottom, my concern lies in the fact that this here, too, is looking very three wavish. So the white ABC itself has subwaves that are also three wave ish and that usually means that when you have a three wave structure that it is it is more corrective than trend setting and everyone is now calling for this head and shoulders bottom and inverse head and shoulders well i can tell you that the head and shoulders can quite often fail as well we've seen how that exactly happened back in in November when everyone was calling for this left shoulder head and beautiful right shoulder and how this was going to be the bottom and to the moon will go and 29k and everyone was throwing out these numbers it failed we got a low lower low now everyone's calling this the head and shoulders the inverted bullish head and shoulders and calling the bottom saying that the recent 6419 also was the bottom well what i don't like about this inverted head and shoulders is it is a very close distance from the bottom of the head to the bottom of the left shoulder and also it's in a form of a wick yes it could potentially be a bona fide head and shoulders yes but what i'm really looking at is how everything is looking like a three wavy wavish structure three 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 and so on and that's usually not how a bottom is made usually if this is the bottom we'll get a one two three four and five instead we have a one two three abc this is not impulsive that is usually not how the bottom is made. Now, maybe we can get a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, a leading diagonal, which will be acceptable as a construct of threes. That is clearly on the table as well. Yes, I have my eye on that. But everything has been three wavish, which means it has been corrective. So if this white ABC is also three wavish, and this C wave is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, because C waves must have 5 subwaves. Unless this becomes a W, X, Y, then we can say that this top trend line, if not ahead of it, as it had happened here and here as well, and here also, but this top trend line, somewhere in the zone of, let's say, 8.3K or so, what have you, could be the line that could rebuff the price one more time to the downside as well. So that is food for thought. And much more is available on hedging.com. Have a great day.